flows original mind and the past memories identification is ignorance identification at any level and of any kind is ignorance it is part of this great play this cosmic play that you will have to lose yourself to find yourself again you have to lose yourself as you exist only then something out of you will evolve the seed has to dissolve first before it acquires another form its process of transformation begins if the seed does not agree to dissolve the entire process of the plant growing the buds the petals appearing buds blossoming one day into flowers will not happen this losing yourself is just a way certainly the only way to regain yourself to regain your potentiality if you have lost too much already you can regain if you have not yet lost yourself enough you will have to lose more the seed has to lose its identity totally the moment it totally dissolves into the womb of the earth and seed is no more seed out of that the entire plant grows and finally it returns the seed form this is the process but seed has to lose itself completely if you have not yet lost yourself enough you will have to lose more totally and nothing can be done before that nothing can be done before that no help is possible before that unless you are lost completely in the valley the earth where the seed is planted is the valley only then when the process begins the tree can soar high in the sky and can talk to the clouds to the stars unless you are lost completely in the valley in the darkness in the sansar in the world nothing can be done so this earth symbolizes the world so the sansar the world the world of conflict and duality lose so that you can gain you can your process of resurrection can begin this looks paradoxical but this is how the world is how the very process is and how the process has to begin mind is pure and no impurity can enter it that is impossible mind is just the buddha nature buddha does not mean gautam the buddha buddha is the state of light the awakening mind is just the buddha nature this is ultimate and when i say mind i do not mean your mind as you know it i simply mean the mind no where no i simply mean the mind where no i and you exist the mind the buddha mind is the one where i and you the two have dissolved into oneness you are the impurity as you exist 
as I and you. Just behind you is the original mind, which is neither I nor you. You are the dust. So first try to analyze what you are. And then you will be able to understand how the original mind becomes identified with the past, with the memories and the dust. What are you right now? If I ask you, what are you? You can answer in two ways. One will be the verbal answer and that verbal answer you will relate your past, the entire past. You will say my name is this, I belong to this family or that, to this religion or that, to this country or that, I am educated or uneducated, rich or poor. All these are past experiences. The verbal answer, you have passed through them, they have been the passage, but your past goes on accumulating, is a never-ending process. Each day, a certain layer is added on it. This will be the verbal answer, and this is not the real answer. This is your mind arguing the false ego. Right now, if, I, if you leave all the past and if you forget your father, your parents, your family, your religion, your country, all which is accidental, your father, your mother, your friends, your children, everything is accidental. If you forget all that is accidental, and just remain with yourself here and now, then who are you? No name. No name will come to your consciousness and no form, just a simple awareness that you are. You would not be able to say who you are. You will simply say, I am. The moment your, you answer the who, you move into the past. The moment you answer what is, you move into the present. You are a simple consciousness and consciousness is pure mind beyond the duality of I and you, an innocent mirror. Mind is an innocent mirror that I am talking about. The mind that you know, the mind that you are, it is based into I and you. Right now, this very moment, you are. Who are you? Just a simple awareness that I am? Even the I is not needed. No. Certainly no I is needed. The deeper you move, the more you will feel uh, you will feel emptiness. The I is not there. It's not I amness. It is emptiness. And this existence that is pure, that is your mind, that is emptiness existence. This existence is the pure mind. But this existence is formless, has no form. The, this existence has no name. It is nameless, no form, formless. It will be difficult for you to be introduced by which you really are. In the society, relating with others, you need a certain name and a form. Your past supplies you the name and form. That name and form are useful. Without them, it will be difficult to survive. They are needed and they are not but 
are they really you no they are not you you are just labels the name is a label form is a label for identification the name and form are utilitarian they are utilitarian needs the original mind becomes identified with name and form that is what you are buddha mind is not identified with any one of them a child is born he is simple consciousness but you have to call him you have to give him a name how can you call him in the beginning the child will use his own name he will not say i am feeling hungry instead he says x is feeling hungry x is his name mummy baby feeling hungry mummy baby want to sleep like that the child says x is feeling hungry x is his name he will say x is feeling very angry only later on he will learn that he cannot continue with this that is he cannot call himself x x is the name that he that he is to be called by others you give a name to yourself so this name is used by others do you call yourself by the name that you are instead you say i am saying not tau is saying not tau is speaking not tau is hungry then he will learn to use the word i you will say i am hungry i am hungry first he will become identified with x the name that others call him then he will become identified with x this is utilitarian you need it without it survival will be difficult because of this utilitarian necessity one becomes identified you can go beyond this identification and the moment you start going beyond this identification and reclaiming your original consciousness you have started meditation meditation is the process of going deeper within you and you can start meditation only when you have become frustrated with your name and form and the world that belongs to it there is a world that surrounds your name and form journey of religion starts when you become frustrated not before that totally frustrated with the world of the world what is that world that you are talking about the world of name and form name and form the, that is the world not when everybody talks about the world but nobody knows what the world he is talking about it is the world of form and name when the whole thing looks meaningless it is ultimately it is meaningless this feeling of meaninglessness meaninglessness of the world that is created around the name and form makes you uneasy that uneasiness is the beginning of the religious search you become uneasy because with this label you cannot become totally identified this the label remains a label and you remain what you are this label covers you a little bit but it cannot become your totality the sooner or later you have to become abandon this and the moment you ask sincerely who am i you are on a different journey enough for now